Hello, my name is Amy. Tonight I'll be watching Gladiator. This one has been on my list for over a year now. And what's been putting me off is the length. I think it's 2 hours and 45 minutes long. It's not watching it the problem, it's editing afterwards. <laughs> it's gonna be a challenge. Don't know how I'm gonna do this yet, if I'm gonna cut it into two, or it might just be a little, a little bit longer than the others. I've also noticed that Gladiator 2 is coming out in November. And let's be honest, some of the best films are three hours long. So hopefully, this will be one of those films. This is Gladiator from the year 2000. At the height of its power, the Roman Empire was vast, stretching from the deserts of Africa to the borders of Northern England. Over one quarter of the world's population lived and died under the rule of the Caesars. Over a quarter of the world. <laughs> In the winter of 180 AD, Emperor Marcus Aurelius' 12-year campaign, God, that's a mouthful, I'm sorry. Emperor Marcus Aurelius' 12-year campaign against the barbarian tribes in Germania was drawing to an end. Just one final stronghold stands in the way of Roman victory and the promise of peace throughout the empire. just started and we're heading off into battle already. Still nothing. Not a sign. How long has he been gone? Nearly two hours. Will they fight, son? We shall know soon enough. They say no. <laughs> Doesn't have a head. They look ready. At my signal, unleash hell. Trying to intimidate them with the noise. I think it would, it would get under your skin. Hold the line! You find yourself alone! Do not be troubled! For you are in Elysium! And you're already dead! <laughs> At least do they seem ready as well? Because that looks terrifying. There's a signal. Jesus. Saying that, their army looks huge. Tell if these are Vikings or Celts or something else. Still fighting on fire. I think 
the victory is theirs. <laughs> The look of relief that just came over his face. Do you think he's really dying? Maybe he just misses us. He's made his decision. He will name me. The first thing I shall do is honor him with games worthy of his majesty. Honor him with games. So that's where the gladiator part comes in. Your Highness. Where's the Emperor? He's at the front, sire. They've been gone for 19 days. Kiss. <laughs> Kiss. Caesar. It's you, Maximus. I honor you. I thought this film was about him becoming a gladiator and becoming a hero, but it looks like he's already a hero. Have I missed it? Have I missed the battle? You have missed the war. I shall sacrifice a hundred bulls to honor your triumph. Honor Maximus. He won the battle. Here, yeah, Father. Take my arm. I think it is time for me to leave. That was really weird. I'm starting to wonder if this is going to be some kind of jealousy story. It seems like his father has more respect towards my... Maximus? Was that his name? Then his own son for now. General! Still alive? Still alive. The gods must have a sense of humor. The gods must love you. Maximus the farmer. I still have difficulty imagining that. There he is. Hans. Senator Gaius, Senator Falco. You pour a honeyed potion in your ear and you'll wake up one day and all you'll say is, Republic! Where do you stand, General? Emperor or Senate? I warned you. I shall save you, Senator. I'm going to need good men like you. How may I be of service, Highness? Maximus, we must save Rome from the politicians. Highness, when your father releases me, I intend to return home. Home? Yeah, I think that's his only goal at the moment. Don't get too comfortable. I may call him for long. You sent for me, Caesar? Do you see that map, Maximus? That is the world which I created. Since I became Caesar, I've known four years without war. Four years of peace in 20. And for what? Yeah, when you put it like that. I am dying. When a man sees his end, he wants to know there was some purpose to his life. Isn't it a bit late for that, though? Or will I be the emperor who gave Rome back her true self? There is one more duty that I ask of you before you go home. I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. You're asking way too much, Jesus. And end the corruption that has crippled it. Would you accept this great honor that I have offered you? With all my heart, no. That is why it must be you. God, that's a lot to put on his shoulders. I need some time, so. By sunset. I hope you will have agreed. Ah, I feel so frustrated for him. Maximus, stop. 
What did my father want with you? To wish me well before I leave for home. He's gonna go anyway. <laughs> Maximus, stop. <laughs> Is it really so terrible seeing me again? It looks awkward. Well, you served my brothers, you served his father. I will always serve Rome. I was sad to hear of your husband's death. I mourned him. And I hear you have a son. Yes. Lucius. You'll be nearly eight years old. My son is also nearly eight. I thank you for your prayers. Blessed Father, watch over my wife and son with a ready sword. Since the beginning of the film, all he's talked about is his wife and child and wanting to go home. Ancestors, I honor you. He's literally praying for them. Did any of you do the music to this film? find it hard to do your duty. He was off Sons of Anarchy. He was one of my favorite characters. Sometimes I do what I want to do. The rest of the time, I do what I have to. We may not be able to go home after all. It just seems really homesick. Are you ready to do your duty for Rome? Yes, Father. You will not be Emperor. My paths will pass to Maximus. Ouch. Until the Senate is ready to rule once more. Maximus. It is. This one's going to be based on jealousy. You wrote to me once, listing the four chief virtues. But none of my virtues won your list. He probably feels like a failure as well, that he's not good enough for his father. All I ever wanted was to live up to you. You are false as a son. Is my failure as a father. Yeah, it at least he acknowledges that. But I don't think it's something you'd want to hear as his son. <laughs> Jesus, the music is very dramatic. <laughs> Do you only really love me? Yeah, I thought there might be a reason behind the dramatic music. Our great father is dead. <laughs> he just looked at him really suspiciously. Your emperor asked for your loyalty, Maximus. Take my hand. He looks evil. Does she know? She does. Hail Caesar. So she doesn't really have a choice, it's her brother, isn't it? Maximus. Please be careful, that was not prudent. Prudent? The Emperor has been slain. They all know. The Emperor died of natural causes. Please don't fight, Maximus. Right until dawn, and then execute him. Just send him home. 
Your family will meet you in the afterlife. Fuck you. Looks like he's been fighting for his country almost his whole life, or how, however many years. And just being stabbed in the back, basically. At least give me a clean death. A soldier's death. What does that mean? Okay. Yeah, he needed him in position. Praetorian! One big whack. perfect opportunity to go home now. People think you're dead. But then I know he becomes a gladiator, so... Is he gonna get caught on the way back? That's his wife and son. Bastards. So I'd like it was the only thing that kept him going, it was going back home. That looked really weird then. <laughs> <laughs> Is he in a cage? I can't tell if he's walking. No, he's in the cage as well. Yeah, they're chained up behind. Okay. Proximo! My old friend, today is your most fortunate day. Did you just grab his balls? I want my money back. A too special price for you. On what? Have you seen my new stock? He's in the slave trade. Come and see them. Do any of them fight? Some are good for fighting, others for dying. Get up! Mark of the Legion. Deserter. Maybe so, but who cares? I'll give you 2,000. <laughs> I'm four for the beasts. That's 5,000 for an old friend. Hero one minute, losing your family the next, and then finding yourself as a slave. I am Proximo, 
I did not pay good money for you for your company. I paid it so that I could profit from your death. Fuck. Is there at your beginning? Oh my god, this would be terrifying. Good. Spaniard. That's enough for the moment. His time will come. Next. Spaniard, why don't you fight? We'll have to fight. Well, I don't fight. I shouldn't be here. I'm a scribe. I write down words and speak seven languages. Yeah, he doesn't sound like he's a fighter. Perhaps a scribe will be the one who wins his freedom. What do I have to do? Fight. You go in the arena and you kill me. And him? And the deserter. I mean, there's no more to fight. You're free. So you're never free? I can't do that. But I can. I can see why he doesn't want to fight. But if they have no use for him, they're just gonna kill him. Gonna stick him in with lions. And that one. He's a Spaniard. He might as well be a eunuch for what he brings to the ring. 500 Sesterci, the Numidian and Spaniard team makes it through. Are you asking me to bet against my own man? <laughs> that is a point. What if I make it 2,000? It's like it's a deal. Some of you are thinking you won't fight. They all say that. Yeah, until I don't have a choice. Ultimately, we're all dead men. I can't imagine this being entertainment back in the day. But then it was probably the most exciting thing happening in the area. <laughs> Dude, he's here. He's not making it. <laughs> Fuck. As soon as they step out. Even the freaking masks and all these helmets, they just look really intimidating. Those weapons. Teamwork. <laughs> He's hiding behind him. They're chained together. Jeez, I only just noticed that. <laughs> the crowd seem to be enjoying themselves. <laughs> Very arrogant. Mother! 
Rome greets a new emperor. Thank you, Falco. And for the local subjects. Trust they weren't too expensive. And that always sounds like a spoiled brat. Well, Rome rejoices in your returns, he said. There are many matters that require your attention. The problem is, he does. He sounds very immature and very selfish. It seems like he has his own plans going on in his head somewhere. Games. 150 days of games. 150 days of games. You really think the people are going to be seduced by that? I think they would. Will. I think he knows what Rome is. Rome is the mob. You bring them death. And they will love him for it. All you do is kill, kill, kill. The crowd don't want a butcher, they want a hero. So they just hack them to pieces. Remember, you are an entertainer. Did he basically just say, don't kill them too quick? So entertain! Oh. He's in there by himself. Just drop them like flies. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Love him. What do you want? His freedom. You're good, Spaniard, but you're not that good. I think he knows he's pretty good, otherwise he wouldn't be talking to him right now. The young emperor has arranged a series of spectacles to commemorate his father. This better be a vengeance story. We're finally going back to where we belong. The Colosseum. 50,000 Romans. Watching. Willing you to make that killer blow. And the noise afterwards rises up like, like a storm. Did he used to be a gladiator? You were a gladiator. Mm. You won your freedom. A long time ago, the Emperor presented me with the Rudius. It's a symbol of your freedom. You ask me what I want. I too want to stand in front of the Emperor. Yeah. Cut his head off. Then listen to me. I wasn't the best because I killed quickly. I was the best because the crowd loved me. Win the crowd, and you'll win your freedom. Sad to say, but it makes sense. I will give them something they've never seen before. So, Spaniard, we shall go to Rome together, and then, when enough men have died, perhaps you will have your freedom. I'm surprised that an old gladiator is buying people to go get killed in an arena, though. You'd think he'd be against it. <laughs> but then again, it seems like he's living through Maximus. To feel that crowd go wild again. It's somewhere out there. My home. My wife is preparing food. My daughters carry water from the river. Do you believe you'll see them again when you die? I think so. Hmm. They will not die for many years. I'll have to wait. But you would. Wait. Is he scared they're not waiting for him? Of course. Yeah. My wife and my son 
are already waiting for me. You'll meet them again, but not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. He's already been recognized. He's still bringing him around in a cage. <laughs> Prepare yourself mentally to die again and again and again. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Even the building would be intimidating. He's getting creepily close to him. He sleeps so well because he's loved. That was creepy. Was that creepy? I will make Rome the wonder of the ages. That is what Gracchus and his friends don't understand. I could denounce the dissolution of the Senate. In celebration to honor our father. You think I should? I think you need your rest now. Will you stay with me? You know I won't. Then kiss me. With his sister. Sleep better. He's gonna find out who that little boy is. Gladiator, are you the one they call the Spaniard? Yes. I like you, Spaniard. I shall cheer for you. They let you watch the games. My uncle says it makes me strong. Master Lucius, it is time. Yeah, he just caught on to his name. Your name is Lucius? Lucius Varus. After my father. gonna make it though. Wow. His blood is probably boiling right now. He didn't slew him. Whatever comes out of these gates, we've got a better chance of survival if we work together. It's gonna be animals, lions. The legionnaires of Scipio Africana! <laughs> Jesus, they have blades coming off the wheels. Fucking horrifying. They don't stand a chance. Fucking hell. It's kind of crazy. As soon as someone dies, you have the whole crowd. Yay! <laughs> I'm surprised that worked. <laughs> oh, she got chopped in two. <laughs> this is so 
so unfair. He's having the time of his life. This is gonna be a shock and all. It's gonna come out and meet him in front of everybody. Yeah, pick up something and fucking get him. Guys! Nice. Your fame is well deserved, Spam. I don't think there's ever been a gladiator to match you. Why doesn't the hero reveal himself and tell us all your real name? My name is Gladiator. How dare you show your back to me? Oh, fuck. Remove your helmet and tell me your name. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Father to a murdered son. And I will have my vengeance. I wish he'd shouted that so everyone could hear. Ham! Did he just say hang him? <laughs> it's just like he said, you will only win if the crowd loves you. Probably fuming inside. He's definitely a crowd pleaser. you more than it's gonna hurt your father. It seems torn between love and hate. I kind of feel sorry for him in a way, but not really. If that makes sense. Why is she still alive? I don't know. Texas me. What will you do? He's gonna try and get him killed somehow. He's trying to be all generous. Went over his people. We can celebrate the 64th day of the games with an historical final match. Caesar is pleased to bring you the only undefeated champion in Roman history. Shit. This guy's gonna be huge, isn't he? They embrace him like he's one of their own. He'll be forgotten in a month. Much sooner than that. It's been arranged. Has he got something planned in the arena? Because in that way it wouldn't be a murder, would it? As in suspicious disappearing of uh, their hero. We who are about to die salute you. 
Yes, it's massive. They're gonna try and make it harder for Maximus and make it easier for the other dude. I think the crowd might catch on after a while. He got him, I missed that. I saw it go through his foot. He's not going to, and the crowd are gonna love it, aren't they? He's gonna do it. And that's a big fuck you. Crowds caught on. What am I going to do? You simply won't die. Are we so different, you and I? You take life when you have to, as I do. I have only one more life to take. Take it now. Take it now. <laughs> they tell me your son. Squealed like a girl. And your wife moaned like a whore when they ravaged her. Fucking prick. Time for honoring yourself will soon be at an end. Highness. One of them must end up dying for this to be over. Perhaps I've seen you for the last time. I thought you were dead. Close. Who's in command? Some fool from Rome. I need you to do something for him. My lady! I served your father, Vindabona! Back, my lady! Back! And I served the General Maximus! I serve him still! I got our attention. General sends word he will meet your politician. Oh, my lady. Set up a plan. I hope my coming here today is evidence enough that you can trust me. Get me outside the city walls. By nightfall of the second day, I shall return at the head of 5,000 men. This is madness. And after your glorious coup, what then? Once all of Rome is yours, you'll just give it back to the people. Tell me why. He doesn't want to. Because that was the last wish of a dying man. Knows too much, and as for me, it's becoming dangerous. Yeah, he's caught up in the middle of it. I will kill Commodus. Why would I want that? He makes me rich. 
Maybe he should have kept that information to himself. I know that you would die for honor. You would die for Rome. But I, on the other hand... He wants to live. I'm an entertainer. God! You killed the man who set you free. What's troubling you? Do you remember what our father said once? Life is a frightful dream. And I have only you to share it with. She needs to roll over and run. I guess she can't wait for the day that he dies. She really feels trapped. What a weird position to be in. My brothers have Gracchus arrested. We don't wait any longer. We must leave tonight. Your servant, Cicero, will be waiting there with horses. You risk too much. My brother hates all the world because my father loved you. And because I loved you. A long time ago. I think she still loves you. I have felt alone all my life. With you. I feel kind of sorry for her. It sounds like she had a lonely life. She has a lonely life and she's got a creepy freaking brother. The guy she loves loves his wife even though she has passed on. Isn't it late to be playing legionnaire? I'm not a legionnaire. I'm a gladiator. Yes, he's Maximus. I'm Maximus, the savior of Rome! Fuck. I do said that. Where's Lucius? He's with the Emperor, my lady. Oh, I got this once. <laughs> Sister, I've been reading to dear Lucius. We've been reading about the great Mark Antony and his adventures in Egypt. And the queen killed herself with a snake. He's not gonna hurt him, is he? Tomorrow night I'll tell you the story of Emperor Claudius. He was betrayed by those closest to him. But the Emperor Claudius knew that they were up to something. He knew they were busy little bees. And one night he sat down with one of them. And he said, Tell me what you've been doing, or I shall strike down those dearest to you. Shit. God, this isn't going as planned, is it? Everything is prepared. Roxy, are you in danger of becoming a good man? <laughs> if you don't want any part of this, go back to your cells. We wait here for you, Maximus. They're all gonna fight with him. He should probably make 
make a run for it too. That is enough. I didn't even fight for it. I doubt any of them, any of the gladiators that are helping him are gonna make it. They'd all be sentenced to death anyway, just for helping him. March your Fuck. I'm sorry. They know about everything. It's done. Fuck, that just peed me off. What of my nephew? What of his mother? Should they share her lover's fate? Or should I be merciful? He looks like he has a demon living inside of him. Lucius will stay with me now. And if his mother. So much as looks at him, you will die. Am I not merciful? It's so fucked up because you would, for your child, you'd just sit and grit your teeth. They call for you. The slave who became a gladiator. Striking story. Now that people want to know how the story ends, what could be more glorious than to challenge the Emperor himself in the great arena? Really? You would fight me. Do you think I'm afraid? You're fucking terrified. That's... Why he's doing what he's doing. Are you a man who once said death smiles at us all? All a man can do is smile back. Smile for me now, Papa. <gasps> <gasps> Fucking... He's gonna cheat. Strap on his armor. Conceal the wound. I still think the public are going to hate him. <laughs> Fucking coward. To though, isn't he? Because he needs to kill him as quick as possible without injury. <laughs> the amount of blood coming out of the back of that shirt. Stab him again. Quintus, sword! Don't. Give me your sword! Has no shame. <laughs> he 
did it. He's gonna die, isn't he? He's going home. Free my men. Senator Gracchus is to be reinstated. There was a dream that was Rome. It shall be realized. come to get him. Lucius is safe. Oh, I got a big lump in my throat. <laughs> it's worth one good man's life. We believed it once. Make us believe it again. You better have after all that. He was a soldier of Rome. Honor him. <laughs> it was but it wasn't he wanted to see his family and he ended up going home like she said I thought I saw Russell Crowe in the second gladiator but obviously not in the trailer because he just died <laughs> I did feel a bit sorry for Caesar at the beginning. All he seems to want is to be praised and loved, but what he's not getting is that he hasn't earned that right or respect from the people. He just seems to be entitled to it, and that's what he's not comprehending along the way. Taking down someone brave isn't going to make him a braver or better person, and he literally turns himself into his own worst enemy. He has no limits, he just sees the enemy and will kill and cheat and lie his way to the top. And I'm glad that didn't work because he honestly didn't deserve it. Russell Crowe plays a great hero, of course. <laughs> And it's always the people, even in real life, who don't want the power, who make the best leaders. This was a great film. So glad that he got his vengeance at the end. That is always a good ending. Someone getting their payback. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back again soon. So like and subscribe. Hope to see you again next time. Bye.